Okay, y'all have to get y'all some footage. These crab legs. I may not come all the way in because it's kind of bright out there, but you can see that stain, y'all. Yes. I am about to do this. This little pile of um, snow crab clusters I got with some of my sister sauce. Some Be Love Smack Alicious sauce that she made that I still got, y'all. Still got in the freezer. And I'm eating a little bit of it with this, but guys, I got so much left. So much left. I eat a little bit at a time. I got everything set up with flowers and stuff I got um, as a gift yesterday. So, I'm just about to dive in, guys. So stay tuned. Steaming sauce. Okay, it's gonna set it. I'm gonna set this somewhere, y'all. I'm gonna put it right here. Hope y'all still be able to see it. Whew. It's hot. Okay, hope y'all can see me. Get my butt up here. All right, so this is what it is today. Let me turn this around so y'all a little bit better, a little bit better. So, I got a little treat yesterday. And it was my flowers and my crab legs. So, I said, you know what? I am going to share these crab legs with my cut-ups. So, got my Bee Love sauce right here, guys. And it's hot. And this was made from the master herself, because I still, like I said, got a lot of it frozen in the freezer, okay? So, let me get started. Oh. Be serious. Serious business here. Oh, a rip off already. That show look hollow. Look like the meat right down here, and that's it. Oh, shit. So you can see it, too. See it through there. Wow. Let's not play these games. Mm -mm. Let's not play these games. Let me get over here. You know what? We're going to get my meat out of here. Mm -hmm. So I don't forget, but goodness gracious. Come on now. Damn me that. Mmm, that sauce still so good. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, shit. Hold on. You know what? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Um. Uh. It marinated, y'all. It really did marinate, and the spices did too. Woo! Y'all, the spices marinated too. My goodness. Spicy. This is the, another rip off. Oh, I don't know what's going on with this. Get better. Oh, mm -hmm. the sauce though. Mm. Now, Bethany told me to add some more Coca Cola, some more chicken broth to the sauce, and that was it. Y'all, this is spicy. Who? This is the spicy and the mild mixed together. Wow. Because remember, if you watch the video, she cooked it um, one mild and one spicy. 
I just mixed it. Oh, it's spicy, dog. It's spicy. This is spicy. Mmm. But damn. What y'all got? Oh, I got one for y'all. Okay. Open up, because here it come. Here it come, y'all. Y'all better hurry and get it, because I don't want to get sauce all over my damn floor. So there it go. Ooh, get a big bite. That sauce. Yum! To sit up here and ooh, shit. eat this sauce like this. I can't afford it, y'all, but you know what? I'm gonna eat it. Mm. I'm gonna eat it because it's good. Mm, 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 mm. So, anyway, I started a new video just like a little short video of some I got some hair y'all bought me another couple wigs and oh hold on let me eat y'all I'm hungry this is good oh bitch I got a water wave wig and I got my signature blonde, okay? The ombre, black roots with the blonde hair. I got that too. Cause y'all know my my braids when I was rocking my braids, they was blonde. There y'all go, get it. Mmm. 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 So now I have sorry about that. Y'all know how I be sometimes when people hold on y'all be calling and stuff. You know, people be calling. Shit. Let me see where I can get my butt up here. Better. Okay. This sauce is so good. Normally I get mad right about right about now, but I didn't this time because it actually was good news. So when I finish the video, mm, gotta go pick up me some some good good. Starting to fly, y'all. Mm. But got me some hair, y'all. Now I got both closures, two closures. So now mm. burning my ass up. But anyway, woo. Uh, <laughs> I cut the lace I want just from watching some tutorials on YouTube on how to cut lace off of a closure. That's how I learned how to do it. It was not that hard. Um, I thought I was going to mess it up. I didn't. It looks nice. I think it looks nice. So I just got to get the knots bleached. And um, I was supposed to get that done today, but that didn't really work out. You know, I'm the type of person that if I reach out to somebody and somebody's supposed to do something for me, like my hair, 
I like to confirm things, you know. And I like for people to confirm things with me too. You know, before I go driving way across town or, you know, something like that. If I text somebody or tell them I'm on my way or whatever the case may be. A text back to me is not going to kill you, okay? Mm. <clears throat> if we both know I have an appointment with you, why not let me know what's going on? Because I'm going to assume that it's not all good, and I'm going to take the high road. Because like I said, I'm not going to waste my time or my gas or my energy, okay? Um, use the damn phone to correspond back. It's not hard. But then again, some people. Hmm. <laughs> Anywho, moving on to dead and that, I have already found another stylist who will be styling and doing whatever she needs to do to my wigs on Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning. Thank you. Too many people out here to do the same service, you know? Pay a little bit of money, so what? You no, know, sometimes it's worth paying for what you want, okay? <laughs> and I like to have options. You know, sometimes y'all know how it is when a person think you need them. That's what they act trying to show out, some people. Not everybody, some people. That's why I like to have options, right? Options is the way to go. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Another thing I want to talk about, too. Everybody knows what state the world is in with the whole pandemic thing that's going on. And I just want to say this. If you have somebody in your life that may not really care as much as you about their life or well-being or hygiene or any of that, you might want to let that person know to either try to clean it up or stay the hell away from you. Simple. It don't matter if it's friends or family. None of that matters. Okay? None of that matters. If a person cannot respect you and respect the fact that you want to keep things clean, um, sanitize as much as you can, you know, that person don't need to be around you. Okay? Because, honestly, I'm going to take it as you're doing something deliberate to me. If you do something like get into a person's bed, okay, and give me y'all feedback on this one, okay? But what would you do if a close family member came over to your house and they was tired, wanted to take a nap, and you was doing something about the house, and that person got in your bed, okay, where you sleep, your supposedly sacred place. What would you do if they got in your bed with their street clothes on? What would you do? Would you feel disrespected? Would you be mad? Would you be upset? Would you just expect that this person should know not to do that shit? Even if that person wasn't somebody that you knew. It just seemed like common sense not to do that. Maybe it just seemed like common sense to me. Let me know how y'all feel. Please leave y'all feedback on that. Well, what would you do? Would you cut some out? Would you cut some out? Would you put them out? What would you do? Let me know. <laughs> Please let me know. Some feedback to that one right there. Mm. People will trip out here, y'all. You cannot let people endanger you because they're careless or reckless, okay? No matter who it is. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But anyway, it just seems like some stuff is just like common sense. Like, 
it's like brainless to even think about, you know, some things you just should know, like, I think that's one of them. Don't go to bed. Get nobody bed with your street clothes on. Period. End of story. <clears throat> I ain't no other way to put that. Mm. Ooh, shit, that almost popped me. Oh, some get it on my wig or some y'all. I'm sure y'all gonna let me know. <laughs> mm, I'm enjoying this though. I'm enjoying it, y'all. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna take a pause. Go get me something to drink though. I'm getting used to it, but it's still hot. It's still spicy. But um on a mm, it's so damn good though. Mm. Mm. Now, can nobody say that I didn't eat all my food this time because I'm gonna tear all these up. Now, for the people that don't know, my favorite part of the crab leg, king crab, snow crab, is the thigh. This piece right here, that's my favorite part. So you will see me eating that part. I don't eat the clusters. Or this part right here, I will eat the claw. And if the meat come out like that, I'll eat that too. But I'm not gonna dig up in this particular part of the leg because it's too hard for me to try to go through trying to get the meat. So if it come out like that, cool. I do eat the claws though. Okay, but the clusters, I don't eat these parts. I know a lot of people be tripping. They be mad, saying that I'm wasting a lot of food. Y'all eat the shit. I ain't got to eat it. Okay, it tastes fishy to me. So for the people that don't know that, that's why I don't eat these parts, okay? Y'all can start sweating because I'm hot. Let me take a little break. <laughs> Come back and then uh, finish these crab legs. Notification. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, I'm eating mine. I'm eating today. Shit. I'm gonna eat all of it too. Well, the thighs anyway. I'm gonna eat the thighs. Getting warm up in here though. I do got the heat on too. So. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'll be okay. Shit. I ain't got that many left. I only had like nine clusters. That's just a snack. That's all that is a snack for me. A lighter note, me and my niece Ouija are going to a really nice restaurant tonight, y'all. Mm. We have <clears throat> reservations at 6.30 tonight, and the name of the restaurant is called Carson's. It's located downtown Milwaukee. Not too far from the school I was going to, MATC. Mm. Just inside of a really nice high rise uh, building. Super nice. Okay. I've been there one time before. I loved it. Really good gourmet food. 
So, it's been a while since I've been there, like six years. So, it's going to be nice. So, this is going to be it for me right here. I'm going to make that run. And after that, this shit right here. Wendy's going to come pick me up. Get me. Mm. That pal gone like a mother at y'all. <laughs> that pal is gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. What crab legs at? Damn. There y'all go. I'm sorry. I'm going to dip it in there good this Pull off that. Some good sauce, y'all. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting full, though. Man. But I'm liking it. Um, mm. Woo! <laughs> mm, it's so good. Mm -hmm. But I think I got some more. Another cluster under here. I'm not gonna give the last one, y'all. My legs go. Did I eat them? <laughs> Did I eat all of them? Here go. <laughs> it seemed like the little thighs be going so fast. Cause that's my favorite part. Yeah, it's almost over, y'all. Excuse me. Ooh. Piece with the meat in it. Oh, here we go. Huh. Yeah, but um, it was kind of hard for me to stay focused when I was in Chicago. But um, I have to pipe down and stay focused, you know, because I ain't got no choice. <laughs> Other people do what they do in their life, and um, I make videos, so you know. Can't stress enough to some people um, <laughs> that are in my videos or hmm, just trying to explain the process of how I work. How I work is how I work. Okay? And I love making videos. I do. I live and breathe making videos and I just love it. And all I'm saying is no matter what you do, you know, go on vacation or, you know, whatever. If you know you still got to work and you still got videos to make, you better do it. You know, don't get off track. And I must have did a good job, you know, um, with my videos when I was in Chicago because my friend Fabio, shout out to Fabio Medicine, okay, my bestie. Fabio lives in Europe, but we was FaceTiming today on WhatsApp, and <laughs> Fabio thought that I was, like, in Chicago a lot longer than just the weekend because of how many videos I got, you know, from that two-day, two days, that was it, that's all, I was only there for two days, out of that two-day weekend, and it's because I work, I make videos, that is what I do. I look forward to that, okay? To each his or her own, but it's what I do. And I don't like to be, you know, distracted. So, sometimes you can't help but to be distracted. Not bad. Sometimes you can't help it, but you just got to get everything back on track and stay focused. And get them damn videos out. 
I know I had about six videos in two days. <laughs> I'll be grinding. That's what it's all about to me. I'll be having fun too, though. Y'all know that. It's just what I like to do. And don't let nobody stop you, shit. Sometimes people be trying to do shit. And whether they know they're doing it or not, don't let them stop you. That one, damn. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> Pop me right in the face, though. Damn. Oh. Get this out of here. Come on, Come on up out of there. Yeah. Mm. It's the third day, y'all. Just rain. You know, that's so depressing. I think I done ate all the thighs up. This is it. Right here, last one. Okay, y'all. Damn. They gone. Oh, no. Well, you know how I be. Shit, they gone. Anyway, this is the last one. Y'all yeah, bite. Let me dip it. Let me dip it first, y'all. Get all the good stuff in. She got all that good stuff in here still. Oh, I'm gonna get y'all bite of that. It's gonna be messy. I think it's with the ginger and stuff on there, y'all. There it is. Last bite. Ooh. Hmm. Nice little snack, light snack. I enjoy it. Talk to y'all a little bit. Yeah, but uh, okay. I enjoyed that. It was good. So I had about twenty clusters. About twenty. It was only nine, but it was free. So let me shut up, because I sure as hell enjoyed it. And I'm still coming back for my claws, too. I'm going to take this part to somebody, like I always do. I don't waste it. For the people that don't know, I don't just throw this away, because I know this is good crab meat. I might even get a claws to somebody this time. I know this is a lot of still, still a lot of good crab meat. I know some people make crab cakes and all type of stuff out of it, but... Oh, so I found another piece. All right now. All right now. That's all right. I found another piece. Okay now. It's all right. Got it. Got that little bit out of there. Alright. Man, I need 20 of them. I need 20, y'all. <laughs> that was so good. So good. But I just so enjoyed it. Uh oh. Right on time. Like I said, for the people that strive to sauce. And y'all know it's really good after you freeze it. It's been frozen since the last time she was here. It's been like a month and a half, almost two months, I think, ago. I think I'll have it for a while because I still got so much of it left. It don't take a lot. It don't take a lot. But yeah, I'm just going to go pour this back. And put that back. I really didn't plan to share it. I'm going to keep it by myself. But anyway, I did enjoy the video. I hope you guys did as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this video uploaded and out there before I leave tonight. So stay tuned in for the Carson's video. Yeah, 
Let me fix my little little purple wig, y'all. Little Violet, y'all can just call me Miss Violet, okay? Today, y'all can call me Miss Violet. It's okay. Instead of Miss A, I'm Miss Violet, Ooh, girl. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching the video. Stay tuned.